Hey everyone, this is the NLE Ninja, and I'm here to present my first FileCut Pro 10 tutorial for 2014. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use a free motion template that's called LumaMask. This template was created by motion graphics artist David Walsh, and you can download it from fcp.co with instructions on how to install it. I'm doing this tutorial in FileCut Pro 10.1 but this template works in previous versions as well. For this tutorial, I'll be using products from Rampant Design Tools as well as Video Hive. In my timeline, I have a clip I want to apply a style mat to. In order to do this previously, I would have to use either Stencil Alpha or Luma in the inspector, followed by turning everything into a compound clip to do any further compositing. Using the Luma Mask effect, I'll show you how to reduce those steps. Let's select our clip and apply the Luma Mask filter. As you can see, our clip will have a faded drop zone icon on it, indicating it needs a mat. In my browser, I have a style mat, which I'll designate to the drop zone. In the inspector, select the drop zone for mask source. Select your mat and press Apply Clip. Your clip will now be masked according to the mat you selected. The best part is I didn't need to nest for what I'm about to do next. I'm going to go to my Generators category. In my Generators category, I'll go to the Textures and select one. Let's drag it into our timeline and place it beneath our clip. If I play it back, you can see my matted clip and background without the need for a compound clip. Another great thing I could do is add further effects to my matted clip, like a drop shadow or a bad TV effect. If I play it back, this is how it looks like. I could still see my composite without having to turn everything into a compound clip, unless I wanted to. Next, I'll show you how to use the Luma Mask effect for matted transitions. I have two clips in my timeline that I want to use a matte transition on. For my outgoing clip, I'll need at least two seconds for my matte. I went ahead and made blade edits to my clips prior to this tutorial. I'll apply the Luma Mask filter once again. Let's select the mask source drop zone and designate a mat for the clip. The mat is animating my clip in, which is not what I want. I'll go to the inspector and click on the Invert Mask checkbox to reverse the animation. Now, if I drag a portion of my incoming clip beneath my first clip, I'll see the first clip transitioning to my second clip based on the mat. All I have to do now is add the rest of the transition.
after I do that, here's what my meta transition looks like. Once again, I didn't need to use a compound clip to achieve this. This is all done in the timeline. So if you're looking for an alternative to matte compositing in Final Cut Pro 10, then I strongly recommend you download this awesome free template. Once again, I would like to thank David Walsh for creating this effect as I'll be using it often in my work. I'm the NLE Ninja, asking you to stay creative. Thanks for watching.